this short video we are going to define some tensors which are derived from the uh, Riemann tensor and which play a very important role in gravity. The first tensor is the Ricci tensor. It can be defined in uh, general in for any connection. Okay, and the definition in my conventions is uh, mu rho mu and rho. Remember that the Riemann tensor is defined with three lower indices. Okay, so what we are doing is contracting the upper index with one of the lower index indices. Uh, but we cannot do it uh, with this one because uh, we would get zero for the Levi-Civita connection because of anti-symmetry. Uh, because contracting these two would be the same. So suppose that I, I write uh, sigma here. This would be the same as r mu nu uh, sigma rho d sigma rho. And this would be anti-symmetric and disymmetric and it would give me zero. So you have to contract it with one of the other two. And uh, the difference between uh, contracting it with uh, one or the other is just a sign because these two indices can be interchanged because the Riemann tensor is anti-symmetric in the first two indices. So it is a sign which is uh, conventional. And in my convention, the definition is this one, to contract the second with the upper index. OK. This tensor, in general, is not symmetric for an arbitrary connection. But for uh, the Levi-Civita connection, it is symmetric. And the proof uh, is based on this Bianchi identity. So we are already putting them to use. Remember that this Bianchi identity can be expanded in this way. The cyclic permutations, beta delta, delta alpha, uh, sorry, here, uh, well, beta gamma uh, alpha delta plus r gamma alpha beta delta equal to zero. Now, if we contract uh, delta and beta, so we make them equal, let me do it here, it's delta, delta, and delta, and this is uh, the Riemann tensor because uh, this is the Levi-Civita connection. This term uh, vanishes automatically, and uh, this term gives us R alpha gamma by definition. And this one, uh, well, if I interchange these two indices, gives me minus R gamma alpha, and this is equal to zero. So the anti-symmetric part of the Ricci tensor is zero for the Levi-Civita connection, and it is a symmetric tensor. Okay, uh, if we have a metric, okay, we can have a connection without a metric. We can imagine some connection that does not depend uh, on a metric. The result that I told you in the previous video that uh, a connection can be decomposed in three times and the last one that I will depends on the metric is true if you have a metric. If you don't have a metric, you cannot find it, this decomposition and there is a piece which is undetermined. Okay, it is only determined when you have a metric. So, uh, if you have a metric and you have uh, this uh, Ricci tensor for which you don't need a metric, it depends, the Ricci, the Riemann tensor depends only on the connection and you don't need a metric to, to contact these two indices. Uh, you can define the Ricci scalar. The Ricci scalar is defined as d mu nu, r mu nu, okay, r mu nu, or if you want, r mu nu, or r mu nu, because of the symmetry properties of the uh, Ricci uh, tensor. Okay, the answer is mu nu. Tensor and Ricci scalar. Okay, uh, then if I have a Ricci tensor and a Ricci scalar, I can construct uh, the Einstein tensor, which is defined in this way. It is r mu nu in any dimension, minus a half of the metric times the Ricci scalar. Mm. 
so so uh, why should we make this uh, funny definition okay well uh, the motivation is the Bianca identity that is satisfied by the Einstein tensor the form of this Bianca identity is uh, very important and it is derived from uh, the Bianca identity uh, the differential Bianca identity uh, beta gamma and mu nu which is zero and remember that we can write this in this way again it's cyclic permutations plus nabla beta r gamma alpha mu nu plus nabla gamma r alpha beta mu nu equal to zero okay uh, now i set nu uh, equal to gamma so i contract these two indices i do it directly here this is gamma this is gamma and this is gamma and now i recognize here r beta mu and here uh, minus r alpha mu because the contraction is with the first index instead of the second and the last uh, term doesn't have any particular relation with uh, the rich tensor so let me write the result here r beta mu minus nabla beta r alpha mu plus nabla gamma r alpha beta mu gamma equal to zero now we multiply this whole expression by g alpha mu and we remember that the metric can get inside of the covariant derivative uh, for the Levi-Civita connection so to get uh, nabla alpha and then I use uh, this metric to raise the index mu into alpha minus uh, nabla beta and when I introduce g here I get the rich scalar plus nabla gamma and if I contract alpha and mu so let me write it first in this way okay uh, sorry I raised uh, mu but now it's called alpha also that I can interchange these two indices and get a minus and then I interchange these two and I get another minus and what I get is r beta gamma these two minus signs which is a plus okay so this is equal to zero and uh, you see that this term is equal to this term okay with gamma which is a mute indices index replaced by alpha so it's two times nabla alpha r beta alpha minus nabla beta r equal to zero let me uh, now uh, take a common factor two okay so i just get rid of the two let me write it like this and uh, this nabla beta which i want to write this as a total uh, as a divergence as a secovariant divergence i can put it in this way minus a half g beta alpha r okay equal to zero uh, <coughs> It doesn't matter if this g is inside or outside, it just changes alpha uh, by beta. And this is uh, g beta alpha, the Einstein tensor. So we conclude that the Einstein tensor satisfies this uh, Bianca identity, beta alpha equal to zero. The position of the index beta doesn't matter, you can also interchange beta and alpha and write uh, alpha in the first position whatever uh, it doesn't matter because g is symmetric but this is the Bianca identity and this Bianca identity receives the name of uh, contracted Bianca identity because uh, we obtain it from uh, this original differential Bianca identity by contracting several indices uh, one contraction without use of the metric and another contraction with the use of the metric 
this Bianca identity plays a fundamental role in general relativity, as I have said uh, many times, and as we will see very soon in the next uh, lecture.